Think not that I love him, though I do ask for him. Tis but a peevish boy, yet he talks well. But what care I for words? Yet words do well when he speaks them that pleases those that hear. It is of a, a pretty youth. Not very pretty, but sure he's proud. And yet his pride becomes him. He'll make a proper man. But the best thing in him is his complexion. And faster than his tongue did make offense, his eye doth heal it up. He is not very tall, yet for his years he is tall. His leg is but so-so, yet tis well. There was a pretty redness in his lip, a little riper and a little more lusty red than that mixed in his cheeks. Twas just the difference betwixt the constant red and mingled damask. There be some women, Sylvius, that had marked him in parcels as I did, would have gone near to fall in love with him. But I, for my part, I love him nor hate him. And yet I have more cause to hate him than to love him for what he had to do to chide at me. He said, mine eyes were black and my hair was black. And now I remember scorned at me. I marvel why I answered not again, but that's all one. Omittance is no quittance. I'll write him a very taunting letter, and thou shalt bear it, wilt thou, Sylvius?